Do you want to learn how to make an awesome roleplay logo that looks just like this? Then stick around until the end of the video because I'm going to show you guys step by step how you can achieve this. I'm also going to be including a template so you guys can skip all of this and get straight to the final product. So the first thing you want to do is go to photop.com. Once you're here, click on new project. For the dimensions, we're going with 1000 by 1000. Then click create. Now your canvas should be created and we can go ahead and make the background. To make it easier, go up to window, plugins, and type in pexels. Click this one and click install. Now you should see it down here. Go ahead and click on that. Since I'm going with sunrise roleplay, I'm gonna look up sunrise. I found the one I want, I'm gonna click on it, change the size to double large and click add to document. Then I'm just gonna grab one of these boxes and scale it up. Once you like where it's at, click the check mark. Now let's go ahead and add some text. Go to the text tool on the left side of your screen or click T on your keyboard. Then click anywhere on your canvas and type in your text. I'm gonna type in sunrise. Next, click this check mark, hit Control, Alt, and T, and grab one of these boxes and scale it up. Now to make this super simple, all you want to do is go up to Window, Plugins, Style, click Cool Text Styles right here and click Install. Then click the X and double click on your text layer over here, and go here and click on this one right here, Hype Style. Then we want to uncheck some boxes, so we're going to uncheck these three right here. Go to this bottom one and change some settings. I'm gonna go with 60 and leave everything there. Then go to this one, change it to 22 and 10. Go back to the bottom one and change the angle to 130 degrees. Now you are done with this text. Next up, get your text tool and type in RP. Double click on that layer, go to gradient overlay and change it from a light gray to a white like that. Click OK. Now we're going to scale this down a little bit and change the font. So double click on it. For the font, we're going to go with lemon milk right here. Click that check mark and hit Control Alt T to shrink it down a little bit. We're going to put it about right here. Click that check mark, double click on it and go to stroke. For the size, we're going with about 15. Click this color box and click on the stroke that's on this text. It'll copy the color. Then you can hit OK and OK and move it down just a little bit and shrink it. Now we can add the line that goes behind the RP. So right click on this and click rectangle. I'm going to go here at the end of the text and drag it all the way to this end of the text. Go up to fill and change it to a gradient, which then we can edit to make it the same thing as this one. Click here, click OK, and there you go. Click OK, go back to fill and this time change the angle to 90 degrees. And now we are done with the line so far. Move it down to the middle of the RP and move the layer behind the RP. Double click on the shape layer and click stroke. Now it looks a little too thick, so hit Control, Alt and T and hold shift and shrink it down just a bit. Just do it until you like it and then call it good. Okay, so now it's time to actually make the sunrise itself. So go to your shape tool again Go to ellipse and draw out a circle. Make it kind of look like a sun. Let it go and drag it to the center right behind this. Now get your polygonal lasso tool up here. I'm going to start right here. Go here, 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 and here. I was holding shift to make the straight lines, but it doesn't matter too much. Now right click on the shape two layer, rasterize it and click delete. So now it'll only be behind the text. So now it's actually time to make the sun which I have a super easy way to do this. Go up to Window, Plugins, Style, and Neon. Click Install and click the X. Now double click on your shape layer, go here and click this box and scroll down until you find the sun color right here, Neon Red L. Click on it and click OK. Let's go ahead and label everything so we know what's going on. Line and Sun. Delete the background and change this one to something sunrise background not btg now to make the sun even better right click on the sun layer convert it to a smart object double click on that layer and add another glow to it preferably the same one click ok and now you can see it looks even better now if you want you can hit Control alt t on the sun shrink it down just a little bit it's completely up to you like so click that check mark now click on your background layer and click new layer down here go to your brush tool Change the top box to black, click OK. Now hold Alt and right click 
drag right to make it bigger, left to make it smaller, up to make it softer, down to make it harder, and go ahead and draw around the border of the picture, but leave the top as is. Now just turn the opacity down on it to about like 35 or something like that. I don't know, it just looks more like a sunrise and it looks better in my opinion. Click on your background layer, go up to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. Then click OK. Now to edit the template, all you want to do is go down in the description below and click on the link. It should take you right here to this page. Then you can double click on the text you want to change and change it to whatever you want. So daytime and then you can move it to the center. It could be anything you want or you could change this to role play itself. Like so, um, if you want, you could go to this half circle here, go to hue and saturation and change the color of it. You know, like it could be a um, nighttime. I don't know. It could be anything you want, which I think that is actually pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Um, you might have to drop a sub for that one. That was that was uh, pretty insane. Um, also, what you can do is if you get a different plugin like uh, Super Bloom, if you want to get Super Bloom, all you have to do is go up to window plugins and it should be one of the top ones right here here it is or if you can't find it go ahead and search up super bloom then once you see it click on it and click install then when you click this x you should see it down here another one i recommend is color theater if you click on it you can change like the filter of it to make it look a little bit different like you can see here i actually kind of like that i might you know what? I might actually stick with that. So yeah, I would definitely recommend getting Color Theater. Same thing. Go up to Window, Plugins, and type in Color Theater like this and click Install. You can add some bloom to your logo. I don't know. I think it looks pretty cool. So you guys can do a ton of different things with this template, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Now your logo is complete. It was super easy, so all you have to do now is go up to File, Export As, and JPEG. If the file is too big, just go down to 99% and click save. But if not, keep it at 100 and click save. But don't stop there. If you want to take your designs to the next level, check out my channel membership. You'll get access to hundreds of high quality effects in a massive folder, plus exclusive perks like special badges and more. If you don't want to spend money, no worries. Head over to my Gumroad. I've got tons of free graphics packs ready to download. And don't forget to join my Discord. It's the perfect place to chat with other creators, get feedback on your work, and join in on community events. Links are in the description. Check them out and keep creating.